This is the king of old school and former ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Steve Carino. And you're listening to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. ECW Edition. And welcome to a very, very special edition of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Today, we're going deep. We're diving deep into the land of extreme, original San Francisco toy makers, ECW action figure line, the entire series. I am your host, Brian Myers, a.k.a. ECW Superfan. And part-time WWE superstar, <laughs> Kurt Hawkins. And I am your host, Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the heart and soul superhero of ECW. WWE CW. Anyway. Zach Ryder. All right, right off the bat. What, what's your memories of these figures coming out? Did, um, did it matter to you? I know you're... I don't know if we've really ever talked about this too much, but your dad was buddies with Taz, so you kind of do have like... ECW ties in a yeah, way. Yeah, I always loved Taz when he was the Tasmaniac. Uh, he trained at my dad's gym, uh, and he couldn't afford the membership, so he traded some like eight by tens, and it was really cool to us. So and Bob, my dad was Bob really Cardona cool. was always the sucker, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> but uh, but Taz, uh, I had his uh, Tasmaniac eight by ten. I've seen it, and I also have, still have to this day, the VHS tape. Uh, highlight reel that he would send to WWF, WCW, stuff wow. like that. Um, so I was always a huge Taz fan, and I was would follow him through the you know PWI and stuff like that. So when he was in ECW, that's what made me first start watching ECW. Was oh, I know Taz. He's my dad's friend, or the guy my dad knows from the gym, mm-hmm. and that's what connected me to ECW so early on. Okay, and then do you, any recollection of these figures coming out that you oh, recall? Bro, I was you knew. I, of course, this was the Attitude Era. This was deep into my collecting, deep into my internet, uh, my internet collecting days, and I was an ECW mark. The big like real crescendo to these coming out. These literally came out like on pegs in stores. I want to say a month before ECW hit TNN. So like, if you were a fan of ECW, which I was like, at that point like a casual fan, but then this like put me over the top because it's like, okay, they're in network television, they have action figures. Like, this is a third, really, I'm a third big brand. I'm like the total opposite. Like, I'll admit, I kind of fell off when they got on TV. That's crazy. It yeah. made me be like, it legitimized the company to me. Like, to me, I was I was the other way around. I was watching them uh, late night on like New York Fifty Five and stuff like that. The I hardest remember- thing ever for me was to stay up and watch I remember, that. It was so hard uh, for his little kid to stay ever, awake. You ever like have a memory that you were playing in your head so many times where you're not quite sure if it's true? Mm-hmm. Like I remember having this memory of like staying up late and like falling asleep and then waking up right in the naked time of uh, RVD and Sabu winning the tag team titles. That's pretty cool. Or like footage of them winning the titles. Yeah. Like I have that memory. Uh, I don't, I repeated it in my mind so many times. I don't know what really happened. I probably saw like Blue Meanie doing a little dance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I don't remember. It, it was wildly tough for me to stay up, and I remember it was like this constant battle. Right. And uh, I'd have like a VHS in there uh, ready to go, and I would just push in and hit record if I knew I was like fading, which, um, ha- which happened honestly more times than not. Like, and I with all those, stay awake that all those wrestling magazines, not just PWI, there were so many of those, those style magazines. Um, and that's where I'd read up on it. Uh, I never did the tape trading or anything like that, but I would go to the live events, the, the house shows, if you will. Um, it's funny because. We're in, in Merrick. We're we're in your house right now. In your house. In your um, house tonight. No wrong I, company. We're I talking about ECW. I know, but I grew up in Merrick, <laughs> and right over this overpass over here is the old Freeport Rec Center. Oh, it's so close. And uh, that's where I saw ECW at Freeport High School. And then Bubba Ray was so vulgar that they were not allowed back at either of those. That story's not hard to believe. Okay, <laughs> so I'm glad you mentioned the magazines. I want I want to surprise you with this. So and. Let's in full disclosure. Full detail. Uh, detail. No yeah. disclosure. Okay. Hey, full yeah. disclosure. Another statement we like to overuse in the show. Uh, usually on the show, it's not hard for you to look like a psychopath, and I look really normal, and that's I just cruise by. It's the other T- way around. Today, other roll, side, jackass. Today, <laughs> today roles are gonna be reversed, and you're gonna see just how insane I am with my ECW hoarding and well, whatnot. Real quick, before I cut you off, 
I specifically packed from Florida our major WF Pod shirt so I could wear for this recording, and I forgot it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of things here. Just kind of run by you. So this is like off the Wrestling Figs message boards when the figures were announced, and I copy and pasted it and printed it is this out. Times New Roman? Yes, like from my parents' computer. Do you want me to read this? No, but I'm okay, just showing I'll you how psych- my ass yeah, off. Don't bother. But this, this is, is like a, this is original paper. This is the original paper. These are the original printouts from the like action figure A-L-O. resource. Yeah. Oh my god! If you want to scroll through these, of the prototypes, the action like from my. This is resource. how excited I am that these are coming out. Shane Douglas, Chris Candido, Devon Dudley, the original Rob prototype Van picks Dan, that wound up being on the Sabu, back of the packaging. Bubba Ray with uh, trunks and uh, no shirt. We'll get to that. Um, Taz, Tommy Dreamer, the ring. Th- these, this paper. You, you use some. First of all, is there blood on the back of this? No, what that is. You're right. hardcore, brother. Ink, ink stain. There you go. ECW. Okay, you ready? We're gonna keep going. Did you become like blood brothers with these figures? From a toy fair magazine, I clipped out. 1999. I've had since. Oh my god. <laughs> ECW wrestling ring. Bubba and Diva, <laughs> Justin and Lance Storm, RVD and Candido. New Jack and Taz, Jessica Gribble again, and Shane Douglas. Oh my God. Okay, and lastly, Some Tomb Raider figures. Believe it back. or not, this is one of my prized things. Um, I don't really know what this is or where it's from. It has uh, Danny Doring, Blue Meanie, and that's. Roadkill? Maybe, I would assume Roadkill, but don't. that doesn't mean it's definitely. Chris Chetty? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's this. I, I would assume. Toy maker sent this out to people to see if they were interested in buying the figures yeah. or purchasing for the store. So look at this thing. Where did you get this? I bought this years later on eBay. I found this, so that's why I don't really have much information on it. I love this photo, right? So here. these are photo. I dug this up look when. At these pro- look at the details. The detail. So now on a lot of these, I own the prototype. Like I have that Taz head for sure. That I have that exact Sabu head that you saw on the back. Of that, that RVD head I have painted. Wow. Um, look how much detail was supposed to be a New Jack shirt. I know. You know things like that. The the reason I dug this out a couple months ago on the pod when the Bubba prototype picks came up when we were like, why is Bubba in trunks? Like, this is insane. Two so, versions of the ring. That yeah, there's supposed happen, to be right? two versions. There's yeah, just no. one version, No, there's right? only one, but they were supposed to be two. Huh. It was supposed to be the uh, you know, gift set with the two figures and the accessories and then by itself. So these are things I've had for a long time. They're pretty just cool and sentimental to me. And let's just say that uh, this is a bonus episode because you guys got us to 30,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Major WF Pod. We put up a poll. We said you guys choose the topic, and you guys chose EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub. So here it is. And I know I know you, you created uh, a million accounts for this to win. Is that true, Brian? Yep. <laughs> I made a bunch of troll accounts and uh, got what I wanted. Okay, so let's roll right into it. Series 1. Series one, late summer, fall, nineteen ninety nine. These are hidden shelves. It's funny because, I mean, obviously that's correct. You would know, but my memory is that they come a year earlier, in ninety eight. But I guess that's not. They're, that's not a possible. lot of these guys are referencing the guys in ninety eight. Maybe so that's what possible. it is because yeah. twenty years have passed, so my memory's a little shot. You don't remember anything. Nothing. Really. Yeah. All right. Um, and for those watching, eventually along on YouTube. Right. These are all from my personal collection, mint on card, every single figure from the series, and they're all signed except this is, Mike Awesome. This is wild. So here we go. This is extreme. This First is up, extreme. Series one, Rob Van Dam. Um, I first actually find, like, I didn't get these from like a ringside collectibles or another place. I found them at KB Toys in the Hicksville Mall. Um, I wanted... Taz, uh, Taz and RVD were sold out, I think, because of the belts they come with, would be right. my guess, and their popularity. Right. And of the four that were left, I picked out uh, Shane Douglas and Sabu. My mom would only let me get two, and I'll never forget it. Now, I don't remember, I don't recall exactly where I got these, but let's just backtrack for a second. San Francisco Toy Makers, they made WCW figures. Now, they made different incarnations, the vibrators, the LJ and ripoffs, and then the, the giant and smaller versions that kind of look like Hasbro's or had those kind of weird actions, but they were kind of cartoony. <laughs> but the end result is every single thing they made kind of sucked. Kind of sucked. But these... And play, playability-wise, sucked. So how do they go from that to these, I which are... Know. In a short time. The, yeah. the, the scale is great. The, the, the faces are great. 
the accessories, the, accessories, the actions, yeah. the packaging. Yeah, everything's um, like so fun. Um, so here's RVD white singlet. Um, I loved the ECW action figure commercial that was airing oh, this yeah. time on TNN. It's like, which is very un ECW because it was like a cheesy, almost eighties like pro wrestling right. uh, TV commercial, but it was just cool. And, like, and that, I, that's what I was saying. I know you don't want me to touch these. Legitimized. But, um, I love the RVD. Um, I love that you can kind of do the Rob Van Dam pose, even though he doesn't have double thumbs. Yeah, he you could can throw, pretend he could throw kicks and all kinds of stuff when you're playing with them. Um, um, the I love that. That's a big. That's a wide grip bat right there. He's <laughs> going to build some forearms of, uh, up at that. Guys in the majors are using wide grips this year. It's just really way out of So yeah, it's totally. like a newer thing. Um, One I, thing I didn't like was the, the title had so much detail, but wasn't painted uh, the gold like. So over not, time, that no, fades. No, they were always dull. I'm telling you, it, it fades over time. Okay, like when these came were, out, they were fresh. Mm. And whatever they did with the Mike Awesome is a different thing because it's That's, those yes, holding. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I do appreciate that they made it more of a five o'clock shadow instead of a full blown beard, which I do. The prototype on the beard, has on the. Uh, That's it for RBD. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Next, we'll get to not just the coolest, not just the best, just incredible. PJ Palaco is joining another us here. another great figure. Um, I mean, I'll tell you what, I was guilty in the backyard of wearing the, the jean shorts with the tights underneath, a la Just Incredible. Um, he was a cool mo. I was in at this point. two backyard feds, and <laughs> two, well, I was in more than two, but two. A lot of, a lot of pretend Just Incredibles in people's well, backyard Well, I wasn't going to say that, but there was. Like rip off Just I was going to say there was two people in two different feds named Just Insane. Get it? Oh, my God. One of them is actually Steel Cage Customs. I know. Um, I this figure is great. You can do the tombstone. I, you can wrap the arms around the guy perfectly. Yep. That's the spinning tombstone. The, that's incredible. A um, um, little tidbit about this figure. I don't know if you remember this. The, he just has a ECW shirt on. The back's, the proto's got blood. It's supposed to be got I blood. Understand, I understand. Which would have been, I mean, it's cool, cool little tidbit. If, if someone were to find that prototype, I don't know what I would pay to have that. Because that's like just so unique and cool. I even love the the tape on the finger, the little t detail yeah, there. Yeah, all the figures. Must have been like this cool, trendy late '90s thing that like I, a lot of these guys in the locker room did that. Because you a lot do of, it all the time. I think that's where I stole it from. Um, it's a great figure, and um, I know that after this airs, I expect the ECW uh, prices to go up on eBay. They already are, to be honest with you. I believe it. And. Jack Sabbath of the Wrestling Universe used to have so many for years and years and years. And since we've started this podcast, and I think I've just put over them to the moon, they're way less. And we saw a bunch uh, the last time we were there. So yeah. uh, Next up, we have Sabu. Uh, I love this figure. The green pants that they went with, like pops to no That's end. Great. And are, are there scars molded onto the chest? Molded scars. Badass. The, the tape. Back to like we said before. The head sculpts are great on these things. This one uh, is another weird one. Like the prototype is very different. Almost like has like a ponytail. Like a slick back. And what comes out is like a messy look. I like the messy look. Kind of like the uh, the picture on the uh, the box art. Yeah. Let's talk about that. The box art. It says like the move, the pivot punch. And then it shows the photo. And underneath. Mm, description. Has a little drawing of it. A la the Hasbro card backs. Yeah, old school. I love it. Very simple. Um... And that's what I like about the packaging. Very simple, but it worked for ECW. I loved having a set. That said, was, you know, a guy up to that point, 99, he even really had a hell of a career already to have his first oh, figure. Oh, sure. So it was like a big deal for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Next up, friend of the Cardona family. You probably just call him Pete, <laughs> right? Beat me if you can survive if I let you. Pivot punch Taz. Dude. This figure was incredible. Uh, a little smaller than the other ones. Had the tattoos. Had the title. Uh, but the way his arms were, you could suplex hook it. Suplex City, man. This might right? be the original Suplex City because it's built like you could to do, do anything. it. Like, it was unreal playable. Like I to even used this figure with uh, my Titantrons later on. That's really doing Pete a disservice. I mean, he's short, but come on. But he could suplex anybody. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the uh, chairs were a little uh, kabuki-ish, I thought. ECW chairs are br a little brutal. A little weird. But I but feel like ECW sometimes have weird chairs in their matches, so it made sense. Also, like, you have, you're playing with a Sabu figure, you need chairs. No, I get know? it. And then, like, they came with so many. At one point, I remember being a kid, I just had, like, a like 10 of those chairs, right. like a plethora. I could do some cool stuff with them. Do the Terry Funk spot and call for him and have everyone come in. Um, I do wish, I wish Sabu would have came with the turban. I wish Taz would have came with a towel. But this is kind of before soft goods were so 
Um, yeah, but they could have made pl- plastic. Evolve. Yeah, or rubber. Yeah, they could have. There's that TNA uh, Smojo with the towel. Looks yeah, great. I mean, Jax makes rubber towel. Yeah. And got, I mean, but sorry, this Mattel was what 1999. Yeah, um, still a great figure. And like I said, him and RVD, I think they were the two toppest guys in the set absolutely and they both came with titles which always makes figures a little bit more elusive for sure so. and what i like is that all these had the, all these had actions but they didn't necessarily take away from the figure not at all and that they, was another great right. point all right uh next up's probably one of my favorite figures of all time back in black the man chris candido no gimmicks needed it's his uh one and only action figure to date um we do know that you don't count the Hasbro work flair that I used to use to skip? No, I don't. Okay. But we, uh, we do know there's uh, FTC, Figure Store Company, Legends Candido in the works. Comes with that trash can lid. So, yeah. Trash can lid, a little, whatever, you know. You needed the weapons. I'm but cool Especially in 99, weapons were, like, so unheard of. That oh, the more, yeah. the merrier. You're more, like, yeah. you get Give them me in some gr- trash can Get them in grapple sure. gear. You get them in bone crunches. Like, whatever, man. Just the, the, the possibilities. And I'm very impressed you have this autographed. Um, this one took a while. And actually, I've been such a... Psychopath about it. I've come across probably about three or four now in the years that I've been doing this. Uh, so every time I always compare and kind of keep the best one. Mm, well, actually, the, the last one I came across, Ref Bennett, I said on the podcast I wanted, Ref Bennett's a listener, Raw Referee Sean yeah. Bennett, and uh, he said, I'd like to have that. And I, I sent him just so I knew it would be in a good home. Oh, wow. Yeah. So one of my favorites. Are there any card variants, packaging variants? Not that I know of. What do you mean, like, as far as... Like, were there any running change? Were they, like, were some, like, butterfly to J-hooks and stuff like that? No, nah, I would know. I, In my expert opinion, I feel like I would know, and I haven't hmm. come across them. Okay. It's like fair. Okay. And, oh, last but not least, I forgot to open one from its not Zolo World case. Yeah, what what, what the hell, Zolo World? Come on, bro. I can't find cases for these guys. The carding is too, like, wide. Last but not least, running at the set is another one of my like favorite figures of all time. This figure is to me like yes. perfect. The franchise, Shane Douglas. Now this one is very very interesting for a couple of reasons. Oh, got big head, little head. These are the very bull sign. Psycho. Wow, that's impressive. So here's the two versions. Uh, it's been covered on the pod, but we'll do it again here. Um, series one, Shane Douglas, which. It was almost one of those ones that was just like so grateful had because he had left the company at this time. Right. So and the things they were able to do in a short amount of time are kind of mind blowing. Like and we found out in later years this was supposed to have a ponytail. Right. And to me, ECW Shane Douglas is long hair Shane, cool franchise, sure. you know, bad guy Shane. Um, but right before he left he cut his hair and then went to WCW. Right. So somehow they're able to last minute it's basically the same head. Right. The they hair just, is still slicked they back. Just, it's slicked back. Right. And but they got rid of the ponytail. So it's up to date in that sense, which is really cool. Um, and then somewhere along the lines, I was so into these, I'll never forget it. I was uh, I was at KB Toys, just kind of cruising the wrestling figure aisle, and I'm like, this, I have this Shane Douglas, and like, I this is really sick that like, I loved this figure so much and played with it and basically spent so much time with it. Like I'm Andy, he's Woody. <laughs> that I could tell that something was different right. about what, this other one. Off, I casually, I was like, I don't know. And I was like, I think, and I, got, I got it. And sure enough, I figured out like, there's a big head and a little head. Ah. And, this, and I couldn't tell you why. I know the little came first. And the big was the one I, that I was I, going. Why I is have, it so different? I have the little one. Yeah. Um, now this might just be um, like color changing, but I can see uh, right off the bat, um, like the wrestling in hardcore wrestling is more of a pinkish on that and it's more of a purple on this packaging. Yeah, but so is the bubbles a little darker, so... Mm. I also like the sun. signature. Uh, it says the franchise Shane Douglas triple threat and this one says Shane Douglas the franchise. Yeah, threat. I didn't realize that. He changed it with SIG. Yeah. A la Zack Ryder. Pretty cool. Like he's got a nice signature and he puts effort into it and there's a lot of those you'll see here and I've become almost an expert on almost and, all these and, guys' and, autographs. And you want... I mean, I'm sure you want to believe but you believe these are all legit? Uh, I'd say seventy to seventy-five percent of them I got in person. Wow, that's even yeah, crazy. So I know they're legit. Yeah. Wow. So that's and series that's one. Series one, ECW. Wow. I mean, we got to go to series two. Series two time, which it's kind of an underrated series. I also have a theory about this series that I've never said out loud to you guys. Which is, uh, what series one is six guys. Yeah. Series two is five. Does someone get cut? 
I never Did see, someone leave. There's no proof of this. This I, is just me in my head. But when you see, if there was four guys, I wouldn't think that. You're just like, that's a nice number four. Five seems like something happened. I always consider series one and two like one set. It is, but then there's nine. That's even more strange. I don't know. I mean, well, I can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, uh, folks. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I don't know. It just makes me think that something happened. They didn't ship together. They're no, not, no, no, no. But same, same, same card backs. Yeah, same. Yeah, but that's just Same the look. style. But they're not because but Series, series two, 2 is has, on the back. But Series 2 has Series 1 on the back as well. True. But this is like, this isn't like nowadays where, you know, comp- Mattel's pumping out set after set. Right, you know. right. Um, but anyway, on to Series 2. First up, 1999, New Jack. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like Series 1 and 2, there was such a gap after 2. Yeah, there is. Right. Yeah. We'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Um, this new Jack, um, deco wise, this figure's a disaster and they improve on it later on. And we'll get to it. I hated the no limit soldiers shirt. Like, what was he like? Master P and WCW? Yeah, but he did wear that stuff. I know, that was but a it's real like a rap group. I understand. Um, which is okay. And they, they probably even crossed the line with what they did. But look on there. at the, the molding on his wrist, like the tape, the thin Badass. Tape. Awesome. Unbelievable. Um, a big thing I've always hated about this figure. That's the big, hair. They painted hair on him, which is a huge... I don't think I ever noticed that until you brought it up to me years later. Somebody did that, like wax him. And it's, it's fixed by Thrill Zone. Thrill Zone figure is perfect. But this is not. See, the problem, like... For me personally, I have this one in my collection, but I guess the Thrill Zone one is better. So like on display, I have this one on display. Oh, that's unacceptable. You me. don't? Nah, the Thrill Zone. You, you I, didn't talk. I'm going to go look at your figs. I have the Thrill Zone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, obviously I'll uh, address the elephant in the room. and I don't mean Smart Mark Sterling. Who's working behind the scenes here. Uh, this is New Jack with the noose. Years later, through the pod, we've discovered that there is... The basically the thrill zone molding where he has no noose on his shirt, so there's some kind of running change. Uh, we, I mean, we've been doing our best to get the story. The uh, we've uncovered a few images, Google images, and now one figure uh, loose, and that's about it. So we don't really know much about it. Um, and that's a case than- of of. Um- People just not knowing it exists. Not that it's oh my god, it's a super rare no yeah, news new just, jacket. It's, it's just kind that of like no one cares. We've made we've created this fake demand for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this is interesting. I wonder why or how it happened, but we'll never. I'm not saying never, but we don't know. Um, so yeah, new jack first figure, cool figure. It's a great figure. Like I said, I think they improved on it in Thrill Zone. We'll get to it. Natural bone thriller, and and also if you want a Sunil one eight seven shirt, I uh, picked it up at prowrestlingtees.com slash major uh, Next up, we have Lance Storm. Now this is another one we're gonna disagree with. This is the one I have on display, not the the white and red. And I'll tell you why because mm. these are the two that are sentimental to me because these are the ones I had. Okay, so I was kind of out of it. By that the other. excuse is perfectly fine right. for me. I get that. But this Lance rules. I have no problem with this. Like the new Jack, I'm telling you, I have all these weird things I think are I mean, wrong with it. That looks so like Lance Storm. I even love the one elbow pad. The Dude, attention to detail on these. He said the elbow pad was super legal. Has Nike sushis on his. No, Asics. Uh, okay, so my bad. This one has Asics logos okay. on it. The Thrill Zone has Nike sushis. <laughs> it's great. It's super illegal and just crazy stuff that just would never fly by these days. Um, it's just a spot on figure. Like the, it was meant, like this mold wasn't made for someone else. Like this was made for Lance Storm. That's what I love about but these yeah. figures. They're all so unique. Mm-hmm. Are there any reused parts in the whole line? Wow, great question. And I'm right off the top of my head, I'm going to say no. Like I'm not talking like is that Every forearm single, reused? I'm saying like I don't think there is even that. That's incredible. Yeah, that's just incredible. Yeah, see what you did there. All right, uh, next. Let's get let's now. Do them, let's do them together because I was so excited when these came out. These guys had already debuted, buh, 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 buh. already debuted in the WWE, and we're making a big splash. And so that's what made these figures, I think, so yeah. cool because you could play with these with your Titan Johns. I certainly did. Buh, buh, Ray Dudley and Devon Dudley, producer of the stars. Testify. Um, I love. I don't want to cut you off. Yeah. I know Paul Casale says I cut you off a lot. You do. Is, uh, is that is that tribal on the shirts or tie-dye? I can't quite tell. So back in 1999, <laughs> uh, San Francisco 
Toy makers were able to make a pretty decent tie dye shirt. It's crazy that in 2000, uh, was it 2019 or 2018? Bill McKenna could Bill McKenna handle couldn't it. make tie dye. That's but, weird. Uh, original Toy Makers knocked they're able it out of the park. It. They did, knocked it out of the park. Um, if I had any kind of weird gripe with these, is that the Bubba is always kind of big. Bubba is big. Mm, he like dwarfs Devon in these, where I never Then maybe Devon's like too that. small. Maybe, one or the other. Maybe. What I loved about the Devon. I, um, might be, I honestly you might be right. Devon's a little because Devon was yeah. First of all, let's talk about the prototype of Bubba, where he's just in trunks and another has, one of those things. You even reached out to Bubba. He, he, had, he, he had didn't no know details, didn't no know. memories. Um, the back of the box is fixed, it's right? Not, which also, so actually, I'm just noticing this now. Like these are all like really um, clearly like hand painted prototypes sure. in the back of the box. Bubba is like a photo of like the fixed up figure. So right, like a very right. last minute thing. Um, also look uh, at the Devon. The Devon is more of a purplish shirt. And this is more of a bluish with some purple tints. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I loved about both of these, uh, the detail, the glasses molded on the classic, Amazing. even like, like Devon even has like the knee pads where it shows like the white, like the yeah, bike it's knee pads. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The, like, whatever artists got these reference shots and like, like you can see Bubba's, uh, bandana is the bandana, you know. Um, There's the prototype which I have, um, where he's no glasses molded on. What I loved about like Devon, you could wrap around for a perfect 3D, wrap around a figure. I think these, um, when these dropped, these were the hottest ones of the set because, like I said, they had just debuted and were making a splash in the WWE. And uh, once again, I say it, my favorite for last. This is one of my all-time favorite figures. The man who hired us. It's to WWE. WWE. All the sentimental stuff about how great he is is uh, besides the fact, but this is a perfect action figure. Tommy Dreamer, ECW Series 2. Um, it, what color are those boots, baby? Red. He's got a little red detail in him. Does he? Can't see. Yep. Okay, yeah, red perfect. Red detail. Uh, uh, it's spot on. It's Mattel, perfect. I don't think, ever got that right on I Dreamer. I think they would have liked to put a... Uh, Maybe an EC F and W shirt on him, something this which works, obviously so. you're not gonna do on a child's toy. This thing rolls. Looks just like Tommy. You can do the You can pose. do the pose, you can give DDTs, you can um, give burning hammers. Just, oh, it's definitely ninety nine nine. I'm sorry, there's so so much hair on Sp that. Yeah, Spicoli driver, yeah. <laughs> so, much, so much hair on that. A lot, no bald spots, so it's accurate. No topics included. Um, it just yeah. rules. And it's probably the I hate to hurt Tommy's feelings here, but probably the least it was the peg warmer of the set. And yeah, I wouldn't. Him and, I, him and Lance, uh, him and New Jack. I don't know. I, honestly, him, Lance, and New Jack were so secondary because Dudley's the timing. You know, I, I love the Dreamer. He's displayed uh, right in the front of my collection, doing the, uh, you know, the old yeah. Raven Kurt Hawkins pose. He rules. Okay, next up is ECW Series Three, which you have like no recollection and no knowledge no, of the series. So I I'm really gonna don't. I'm gonna ease you through this. These were Target exclusives, and like you said, there was a little bit of a gap. Between that original packaging, you know, the orange uh, and yellow style packaging, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the later three series, um, and this was like the only. I'm interested stop to see gap. these. I don't recall okay. these. Right off the bat, I will tell you, every single figure is eventually released in another capacity, huh? Except for Mister New Jack. So we'll start with him. He has a bluish. Purple-ish. I don't think I've ever seen this figure no, in my life. No limits shoulder shirt, but he has got the correct head with not no hair painted on. Uh, red I've, red I've bandana. No recollection of this. Okay, so again, it, even still a better New Jack than. Uh, I disagree. I don't like the, the blue shirt. Zone. Um, but he's got the proper head. And the scarring. And you can see the scarring now. That's right? the whole point. Right, you know? but with the hair, you can't. Yeah, there was some kind of slip up. Um, got the noose though, which I just something to point out. So these are Target exclusives, like an entire set of repaints, all six. And again, that's another reason why I feel like Series 2, there was something Kabuki-ish, because this set has six as well. Huh. See what I'm saying? Maybe. Okay. Who, who would have been that sixth man? I don't know. Like, who left the company? Who would like something, right? It's interesting. Something to think about. Uh, two, I mean, we can bust right through these. Like I said, they're all repaints. Sabu, orange pants. But they also have, like... Like a shading to them, like it's not just orange. Like there's right, like a little right. extra effort there. It's like a custom job. It's cool. Huh, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you're saying this was released later? What do you mean? You'll say you said everything was released. Every single one is released again in another huh. capacity, except New Jack. 
These and also these ones here. Uh, next up, okay, we have this, Taz. I know this Taz. This is like this is the first time we've seen Taz in purple, with red, uh, red boots and red wrist tape. Not to mention wrist the, wraps. It, in gold on his chest, it says Taz in plain font. Yikes, skis. Mind blowing. I think that's why I pass on this set. Okay, so this is like where the first like WTF head scratcher, like what's going on with these figures? It's got him because I'm a super fan. The belt situation's fixed. As you can see, the belt here is still pretty vibrant. The color and the gold. I still think it's a little dull. To it's me. way better than those other ones. Okay. Some okay. of those you can barely see. Um, there's Taz. This one is, I think, when people think of. Okay, we we're putting over how incredible some of these figures are. I think this is the poster boy for what's up with those ECW figures, right. the bad ones, because the bad dreamer? ones are bad. Is it Dreamer? And it's Dreamer. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I do have these figures. I had this on my desk with my, in my friends and family shelf. My mom got this at a garage sale you for a dollar. Story, yeah. Um, he joined the uh, he joined the Hulkamaniacs, it's, it's brother. It's the Hulkamaniac Dreamer. So uh, I think if the sleeves were yellow on this no god awful but that would make a lot more sense like it'd be a, it would be a fluent it, it's yellow the colors, the colors are so kabuki-ish it looks, it looks like a test shot where yeah. they just test so this the dreamer has the or you know what would be great too which would make this totally fine and we're not fine but like way past, if the yellow was just black and it was a black t-shirt with red ecw so the, the white like seriously okay, what like, about the red wrist tape then he's got red that, and I believe the boots and, have and red. And he has still. no bald spot on that one, correct? No bald spot on okay. this Tommy okay. either. Um, but yeah, this one's so weird. This is like the poster boy for like, wait, what? Right. Because it makes no sense. He's wearing like a shirt over a shirt or something. It's like, how do you explain awful. it? God awful. <clears throat> then we have just incredible. Another one that I didn't hate in the red. It's not I would, terrible. Uh, <laughs> I, when I would tag my impact players together. When I got the th uh, Thrill Zone Lance, who's in the red, I'd use him in the red. So they're like Canadian themed kind of gear. All right. Even though like they weren't that. like a Canadian themed okay. team, but just so they matched a little bit more. So Justin Carrabble, same exact figure in the red and way bigger ECW font on his I chest. wish they just would have made one without a shirt. I made a custom I have over there if you want to see it. Can we see it? Yeah. Okay, they're just locked up. Did Quirks custom make that? Did Steel Cage customs make it? Pop that baby open. Tell me what you think about that. Oh, wow. You made this? I made that a couple of years ago. And it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did some serious work on that. So whose torso is this? It's uh, Candido's replaced with his arms and his. So how'd you crack that baby open? Uh, Do you unscrew the screws? Yeah, I unscrewed and then re-screwed and put all the parts back together and made the function work and everything. But what about the side pieces? Was that glued? Uh, when you get the screws off, you can like pry it open. Oh, it looks yeah. great. You need a special screwdriver. It's not like a, it's a real tiny. Wow, it looks awesome. Yeah. So I actually love this one. I would display it if it wasn't real, but I'm not a real custom guy, yeah. you know? All right. Uh, I, but least. like, oh man, now that we have them loose, you can just really appreciate the detail on these, like the socks coming out of the boots. The best, dude. They are the best. Dude, these figures are so underrated. Last but not least, Series 3. This is probably the best figure because there's nothing weird about it. It's just a cool kick-ass figure. And this is one that we saw, or I saw on, a, I forget where I saw, Twitter or <laughs> our Facebook you, group. And I'm like, oh my he, God, is this a, a he, variant he Series 1? found another variant like that we unearthed after all these years. Nope, it's just the... Target Series 3 that people just really have no recollection of because they're very forgettable. But this was the the real star of it because it's RVD in a black, gold. And RVD is and hotter trim. than hell. He's hotter point. than hell. And it's, it's, it's got nice deco and it's very playable and there's nothing like embarrassing about right. this basically. Yeah, so it's a good figure. That's great. Which again comes out. All right. And I just want, really quick, who's on the back of these? Just series one and two, but same back as a uh, series two card. So Shane Douglas same, has been the, removed. Almost this, ooh, yeah. Shane's been removed. Yeah. Anyone else removed? Yes. Wait, Candido, because he's gone. Candido's removed. He leaves Shane's, for a little and comes back. Shane's and removed. And Shane's removed. Interesting. Wow. All right. All right. Series four. Series four. It kind of got me back into the the game, but I skipped a lot. T what? Technically named Champion Clashers. I have I mean, basically the remaining series had names and I thought sure. all the all the names are terrible. We'll get into it. Um 
I first saw these at Car Place Toys R Us. I went like, there's like that EMS, Eastern Mountain Sports, like next door. It's still there, I believe. Oh, my brother sure. needed something. And I was like, it was a Saturday morning. I was like, let's pop in there. And I was like, <gasps> it's all the new guys and like freaked out. The crazy thing is the back. All on the back. <laughs> Shows all this stuff. Uh, I don't recall if uh, this all was these online sets, before. I know. all the. I think until it was there, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. But like all these sets are coming out. So the one, the Champion Clashes that you're, you know, is in your hand at Toys R Us. And then, you know, Bash of the Brawl is just coming. Thrill Zone. Uh, these two packs that we'll discuss later. Uh, pretty wild stuff. <laughs> um, so quickly, we can burn right through Taz. Same exact figure as... Um, no title. No title, though. So you can see that ugly Taz writing. I like it's a different, different picture on the, uh, the Taz face. Yeah, updated uh, bio on his... Uh, but by this time, he's in WWE, right? Yes, for sure. And then we have RBD. He still has his belt. and uh, Championship. Same, sa- sorry, championship. And it's the same figure as Series Everything 3. Everything is exact. Exact same, yeah. Okay. I believe you. But then... That's when it gets real exciting. Ooh, baby. Whew. New characters. Now, new guys, these I did buy. New guys to enter your figure fed. These I did buy. Good friend. Rest in peace. Silver Balls Mahoney. Balls Mahoney, which even ECW, a hardcore product, he's B Mahoney I on get the packaging, it. which is funny. Uh, I, I, I love it. that he comes with a chair. I believe his Jax figures, he was just Mahoney, right? I think so. Yeah. Um... Great figure comes to the chair, awesome. This is it's pretty awesome. I mean, he's got, got the, the tats, the wild tats, the ripped, the ripped jeans, up jean shorts. Same as you said about others. Like he's got the, he's wearing like seven knee pads and you it's know, all awesome. over his boots and it's just perfect. And like we said, I wish the hair had a more blonde in it. A little bit, but I, it looks great. I'm not gonna complain. Piercings, scars on his face. It's great. Uh, the ripped jeans, like the man, and like we said before, these figures like. This is Balls and Mahoney's mold. Like, no one else is going right. to use this. And it's so unique to him. And that's what makes it very cool. And it's they could have. Kevin Owens mold. <laughs> nice. And they could have, with this guy, another guy I was super excited to get, his one and only action figure representation to this day, Axel Rotten. Um, they could have just used the same. T shirt mold's not the same? No, it's literally all unique. That's, that is. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's all for that. Yeah, pretty cool. Same thing. Tats, um, scars, piercings. He's got that old man Marley sh- uh, snow shovel. Yes. Um, one thing we should also notice, this set came with stickers. Every figure came with five stickers um, Ooh. of talent, which I put all over my windowsill, and my parents wanted to do kill me. <laughs> I remember I, I used to put stickers on my, wi- um, on my actual windows. Same here. That's exactly what I did. And my wow. parents scraped them all off when I finally went to college. Uh, next up, we have Terrence. Gore, gore, Terrence Garand. Gore. Our boy Rhino, um, he's really popular this time, heating up on television, so great timing to get him. This is the figure that's on display, this red one, because it's what I had. (sighs) So I displayed the other one, what that we'll get to, because that was like the more like over Rhino. This is, to me, this is Steve Carino's rookie monster Rhino. He wore that red singlet. You know, he, he wore the black basically the rest of his career. The face is dead on. He switched that black singlet and kind of never looked back. Um... Yeah, he Slater says he orders the same singlet over and over. Yeah, we heard. This is one of my least favorite. I I like it a figures lot. Figures we've discussed on a recent. I like pod. it a lot. I just don't. There's something about it that's just not that great. I, I don't know. I mean, he's short. It's not evil enough for me. Anyway, we're talking about Yoshihiro Tajiri. Sorry. Um. Yeah, there's. I think it's great. I don't know. There's just something just missing that I've never been able to quite put my finger on. But I, it's okay. I don't I love, love it. it. It was hard to play with. His legs are very stiff and together. Okay. Not a lot of options there, especially with a guy who threw kicks, basically, the majority of his offense. Um, and last, but not least, the final two are two figures that I was crazy excited to get. First being... Raven. There he is. Um, Amazing, badass figure. He's got the uh, the gold in the hair, not the blonde, but it still works. It's, it was what he had. It was the cool. chainsaw, Charlie. A chainsaw. big thing that would have crushed me is if this figure had that. Remember, he returned to ECW, which is an epic moment in the Elks Lodge. Yeah. Like it's a big surprise. It's their second episode on TNN, whatever. Um, he wore that weird face paint. 
Yeah, I always think like, what if this figure had that? I'd be so devastated because it depicts that one moment, not like I love. Run. I love the jackets like slightly coming over the hands. Yes, the jacket so much, is awesome. There's so much detail. Again, like the dreamer, you can do the raven pose. The dreamer the slash shirt. Raven I don't pose. like. I'll take it. It's, it's they fine. can't put a copyrighted thing, so a, sh- a yeah. shirt to just say "Nevermore" is totally fine. It's fine. I'll give it a pass. Um, I loved that you could pop off the um, flannel and kind of get more playability. Are you yeah, not, but then the you know that is on the front though. But like in your fig fed, and you need him to like have a match you can pop that off and it's not like he had it you know use like, your imagination a little bit but is it by design you can pop it off or you just pop it off and like kind of break it it might i mean this is me just being romantic about these figures i always thought it was on purpose so well, you, you have a lucy it. why don't we why don't we check it out i mean i can tell you right now it comes right off with ease i would love to test that <laughs> <laughs> i mean i can tell you i'm telling you it comes off but by design, or you just pop yes. it off? Yeah, like it's, I think it's supposed to come off. It doesn't say with removable flannel shirt or anything, but I think it's for kids I'm, to play. I'm going to say no. I'm not. I'm going to say You're it's not, not supposed to take that off. It comes off way too easy. And then it's like, then it's the opposite. Then it's made really terribly. I mean, I love the the rip in the jean shorts. Again, the, the finger tape. I'm so impressed by the molding of the jacket over the hands. Um, what a great figure. What a great figure. And the eighth and final figure rounding out the Champion Clasher set, my favorite, Jerry Effin Oh, Lynn. love it. Love it. Love it. Um, what a great figure. Uh, Jerry's only figure besides the Figures Toy Company figure. just got Figures Toy Company this year. Um, um, if I was being super nitpicky about this, first of all, he randomly comes with a guitar. I was say- um, if I was concert too, if I was being super nitpicky, I'm such a Jerry Lynn super fan. So this one, he's wearing like purple tights with the yellow detailing. Yeah, I wish it was the yellow tights with the purple detailing because those kinda, those are the more vibrant ones and the ones I remember wearing a lot more. And they're kind of baggy as well. And I mean, dude, it's perfect. It's spot on. It's awesome. Uh, he's got that big head butt. Okay, another thing, the action feature in this kind of sucks. <laughs> and actually, the Rhino one too. He does the kick. They'd get, right. they'd kind of fall over a mess with play a little bit here and there, but then again, you know, just badass that you have it in the first place. So I can't complain. The champion clashers. Let's move on. And now, unlike the other series, like we said, it got stooged off in the back of the box. So we knew. We know it's coming. So it's just a matter of time. I do recall scooping these at Car Place Toys R- Toys R Us as well. Uh, still very excited because there's some cool new and unique characters. Uh, Bash of the Brawlers, or uh, Series 5 at this point, if you want to call it that. So, real quick, right off the bat, we have the re-releases, which, you know, or whatever. Sabu and Just Incredible, the same two figures from the series. Did you buy these at the time? Three. Yes, and I would, like, hoard them and collect the count. The, like, to me, the accessories what I needed. Like, oh, no. You are weird, man. Yes, and I definitely needed... Which we need to mention. The stickers. Here. Limited edition collector's card. These are actually really cool. Like, like cards or stickers? These are cards now. The, f- the last series of stickers, these are cards. The next series will have tattoos. Um, these cards are the best, at least bonus thing you're getting because it's a real trading card with like a bio on the back and hmm. facts and things like that. So I, I thought it was cool as a kid. Or enough. There's enough meat on the bone there for me. Uh, let's get this over with. Bro. The only unsigned item in my entire collection an absolute gem of a figure ecw mike awesome as the champion he comes with the world heavyweight title this time deco on it it's got a little color it pops he now, comes with a chair which wrong. you think mike awesome chairs go it's, hand a, in hand. it's the same mold as earlier just painted with the new style title yeah, absolutely yes that's fine i'll take yeah. it um and he's so jacked up says awesome on the Dude, butt he's bigger than everyone it's just this figure rules. i feel like his run in ecw at this time was kind of short lived to get a figure. I want to say this time he's by the time this is on shelves like he's in WCW too. Okay, because I remember I got the CD, the did you ever have the CD with like uh, Sandman's on the cover? Well, you know, Awesome was in and out for right, so ever San, so, right, so, until he wins the belt. Right. So when I got that CD like Awesome his song was on but like Mike Awesome who's that? Like yeah. he was he, he would come back from Japan and do like a show here and right, all that you know, CD, here and there. Um when here's something else that's funny, a little full disclosure. Mm-hmm. So like, a, I use the walk by Kilgore 
because that's who sings it on the yes, CD. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as my backyard wrestling music, because I always thought that Walk was by Kilgore. I didn't realize they were ripping off the I guess, songs. I, I get it. And now, I, looking back on that, it's laughable, but at the time I get it. I also thought that for years, get ready for this, that I thought that Harry Slash mm-hmm. was Jack Sabbath. They were the same guy. <laughs> I also don't find that like hard of like i get it like if you don't know you don't know. i thought they were yeah, the same yeah. guy okay. <laughs> another little anecdote about these that very nitpicky i wish the card that was up front was the guy in the box i agree because he's like, in because he's in there that's like that popey hulk hogan yeah same exact scenario doesn't but have hogan. Also, well like there's a rare every, one with it there was a rhyme to the reason or a method a rhyme to, to the reason blah, blah, blah. there was a method to it because Every Mike Awesome has no vote front. It's not like some random guy. It's uh, not like you very, can find a Mike Awesome with a Mike Awesome. Every right. Mike Awesome has a no That's very interesting. You know what I mean? So yeah. so there was something behind it. Anyway, signed Mike Awesome, my holy grail. If anyone has any leads, I know of one that got destroyed, maybe, Hurricane Sandy. That's about it. But didn't I find you one and you didn't like how it was drawn? The signature was drawn? What? No. No? Okay. Um, I Trust me, don't even try to fake it. I'm a psychopath and I've like studied his Didn't Sir Cage Custom find one? And you're like, that's not a signature? Maybe. That that pops up on eBay. Yeah. It's garbage. And the guy, same guy sells like fake Raven ones and oh, all okay. stuff. Um, in my all my searches, I found one that said like two bill or whatever. And I just couldn't. I was like, oh, ah, I can't do get it. it. Yeah, get it. it's been years and years. All right. Uh, this figure rules. Super crazy, our old friend from the original Smack. Beautiful days. figure. Great figure, perfect, awesome detail. He's so over at the time. He even has the, the ball necklace, which I wore in the backyard as well. It's a very <laughs> 1999, 2000 thing to do. He's at the right bang. Yeah. Um, I am super. I am crazy. I am super crazy. You would have thought this would be his last figure or one and only figure, but he had wound up getting that run in WWE with the yeah. Mexicals and had, had a ton. But I love this figure. Um, comes with the chainsaw, which is unnecessary. How come Mark's allowed to touch these figures, but I couldn't? Yeah, doo doo and chocolate in your hands like pasta. Next up, Dude. we have Intergalactic Planetary. Mr. Mike Bucci, Nova. Um, Wedges himself. Dude, what a, man. So he's, him and Dreamer probably had all these guys are what was the ones we're closest to. Yeah. Because they were bosses and now friends and whatever. Um, when I got this signed by him, he went like he knew it was for me yeah. and Raleigh was like getting him to do it or whatever. Right. And he all these just say who they are or whatever. And right. he was like getting ready to get crazy. He's like, Oh, he just wants you to sign it. So he says supernova and it says, Go hard or go home. And like I think he was getting ready to keep writing all this like dumb inside <laughs> and Raleigh's like, No, 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 So I mean it's fine. It's yeah, still it's pretty fine. cool, but uh good figure, hard to play. His legs don't really raise that high if you remember. It's okay. a little tough, but I was a big fan. Love Nova. Uh, yeah, unique character. Someone great, you, great and, figure. You know, honestly, an undercard guy to add to your figure fed, which is absolutely cool. perfect. Speaking of undercard guys and someone who's absolutely insane, this figure is beautiful. <laughs> All ripped up, little Guido. Yes, um, I love it. It's shorter. He's got the tat. I always picture that's like almost like a Rick Rude style tat to it me. Is you know exactly that. It's like an old school tough guy yeah. tattoo. Yeah, Dave like, Taylor tat. Yeah, you just don't see anymore. Uh, Nuns is the man. Um, I wish it had more of a stubble than the beard, but I'll take it. It's, it's a pretty, light beard. It's different than the head. So they, the head, the head and the beard color. Um, so they the tried. feet aren't quite big enough for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> biggest feet in all pro wrestling, so that's not uh, accurate. But I was glad to have him. Uh, you know what they say about people with big feet, right? This one I thought was crazy. Like another thing, a lot of these figures, like we mentioned with the Shane Douglas, like the, they were able to get things done. So like, fast. This was fast for Sandman. Makes his return to ECW after leaving WCW, and they got this figure out very quickly. Very I quickly. Um, not a huge fan. I, the I just thought of something. What? Could this have been the canceled figure from Series Two? No, because he's he leaves like he's in there all of ninety nine. Right, but they plan well in advance. Maybe. Right, just that's, just a thought. Just cool. a hunch. Right. Because that would explain why they got I him out so saying. quickly. I completely ever changed. Um the likeness, like this head is spot on, awesome. I wish this figure's a little too fat and stubby though. I think at this time he is a little bit no? No, he comes back like jacked, right? No. Uh, eh. I don't recall. 
And I also, my other pet peeve is, is this. Memorial Day with those pants? I, I wish this figure, he's got like these acid wash, like very, 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 very light blue. White to me. Yeah. Uh, I wish he was just wearing black jeans because especially at this time, he kind of just wore that and that was it. And I know it's very, um, at this time, especially with the network uh, down their throats, uh, no blood and stuff like that. But it would have been cool if there was a can and they just left it silver. Could have could have been a soda can. Could have yeah, been a, cool. a juice box. Um, yeah, I mean something like that would, would rule. Also, uh, this is a knock on this figure too. Around the same time, we got that power slam hack, hardcore hack, yeah, which, which is, is a cool. Awesome figure. has the, the barbed wire wrapped yeah, around way it. Way more and that kendo stick. There's no more, kendo stick for Sandman. Way more toyetic. This wasn't exactly like that. There's the old man Marley. Uh, Snow shovel again. Like I said, the turnaround impressive. And here's my personal favorite of the set. Again, one and only action figure in all of his wrestling career. Steve Carino, wow. the king of old school. He's, I mean, up until he like becomes really popular and ECW goes out of business, he's like my favorite ECW guy. So like, I love that we got this. And another one, blonde hair on the figure which he changed very last minute at this time, if you think about it, and then to the point where the packaging doesn't even have the correct hair. Right, that's, like that's the photo very, of the actual that, person. The turnaround here. Maybe because they were so small, the company, they were able to get things done so fast. It's very possible. Um, and I love the, uh, the little like knee like brace. It's like, great. I, used, I actually use that a lot, like in my figure, if I do recall. Um, One but, crutch and a cast you can put on a guy. What a great run, run those great injury figure. angles, you know. You never I mean, know. I wish like it was in the more iconic look with the trunks and the the beard, but beggars I do can't too. be choosers. Yeah, no way, beggars can be choosers, and I'll take it. Last but not least, unfortunately, last. Finally, don't have a cheesy name to back it up. Thrill Zone was cool be to me because that's what it was the Friday Night Thrill Zone, right? So at least that makes sense. All the sure. other names are so stupid. Um, let's get this over with. <laughs> the worst figure of all time. The Dreamer again. Tommy Dreamer series three targets. McDonald's so. Tommy Dreamer. You know what? Maybe that's why. Because yeah. Tommy's eating a lot of McDonald's. What, is, there, is there a bald spot on that one? Bald spot and fat jokes. We've had him with in this already. Is there a bald spot on that one? Got a feeling this is going to get back to him. Um, I love you, Tommy. But how does like a figure that's so bad in series three get re-released in technically series six again? Again, it's, it's almost like, and I own two autographs. Like Mattel releasing that red pants Nakamura over and over and over again. Uh, and that's that's a little <laughs> different. Uh, anyway, see you, Tommy. Can't believe that happened. Another. Tommy, thanks for hiring us. I really you yeah, changed my life. Appreciate that. Another quick repeat. Oh, can I just tell uh, Marcus saying that we don't tell enough personal stories? Here's a personal story for you. Uh, I went to my old gym. It was at Gold's Gym in Belmore, New York. Wait a minute, that dreamer's not signed. Yeah, it is. Where? It Where? Where's the signature? Oh. Let's see it. Where? Tommy's lazy as <laughs> It's there. Look at Oh my god. Look at that as a cow. Look that's his autograph. On the me. tattoos? Is you that, know, is that even a Sharpie? <laughs> yeah. And then by the way, all the Thrill Zone comes with tattoos, we failed to mention. Is that scribble? Also, actually Jack Sabbath told me that he's he's known Tommy a long time. He said when Tommy started, he had this beautiful autograph, Tommy Dreamer, sick, like, you know, beautiful script. It's Now it's T, line, D, line, and yeah. Oh, my that's God. The autograph on there. Well, anyway, today uh, I was at my, because we're in New York, I went to my old gym. It's called Onyx Fitness now, but it used to be a gold gym. And I remember getting signed by WWE, getting a call from Tommy Dreamer, on the way to Gold's Gym, I was pumping my gas. Uh, I got signed right there. I turned around. I went home. I told my dad I got signed. Then I went back to the gym and had a great f***ing back day. And then today, I had a great f***ing back day, too, just being back in that gym. And Mark's just like, I got to edit all these F-bombs. So Mark, Mark so loves insane. these personal stories. That's what you want, Mark. All right. Tell me if you love this Balls Mahoney you know Thrill what? Zone in a purple Mahoney shirt. Is it purple or, or like a navy? It's... To be deciphered, but uh, another not really noteworthy. Is that that, that wooden crate a la edition. Road Dog Al yeah. Snow? Another addition to the series that doesn't really need to be discussed. In that same realm, we have a Raven he looks, repaint. He looks like right out of a, a grunge band with that guitar. Yeah, it's just this one. It's not the worst, but like you don't need a Raven What's in a shirt red say? Just Raven? Red shirt. Did he go to Tri County Flea Market and get that shirt <laughs> yeah. made up? Red shirt. It says Raven all crooked. Uh, Again, like there's way better versions of these figures. You don't need to. 
yes. get these unless you're a psychopath like yeah, me. I won't have these. Um, a couple noteworthy ones. I loved this Chris Candido. Now this which, is this is Chris coming back, right after WCW. I guess that's how this hat. He gets let go. No, he doesn't come back after WCW. So how is his figure in the line? It's way too late. This is another one. That, so the. He's, he's been like blackballed from the company according to the back of these boxes. How's he back in? I mean, Lance Storm is in WCW at this point too and he's in this set. Well, that's a beautiful Lance. This Lance rules because Canadian colors. The Candido's in yellow which I would make him like in franchise like a tag team and obviously I think a lot of people did that. It's just like obviously looks like it should happen. Uh, but he's an outfit he never wore ever. But at least it's a believable thing. Like that dream in that yellow shirt is just weird. You know, Raven and Red shirt, weird. Like, Candido could have wore yellow trunks and yellow okay, boots. Okay, I, I can believe that. So I don't have too much of a problem with it. And the Lance is great. Very hard for me to get this signed. Uh, eventually did through a friend of a friend. And Wait, so you did get it signed? Yeah, that one's signed. I'm down to just that, Mike Austin. So Every single what, item what here is What are these tattoos? Are they they're just like regular tribal Generic, tattoos? Generic, uh, Gabe Tuft. Heath Slater, Heath Slater tattoos. <laughs> Horrible tattoos. Yeah, nothing you would want. Gotcha. This Lance rules. This is the one I was talking about that you can kind of see in there he's got the nike swoosh oh that, that, he definitely does yeah it's Butch wild. Reed galoob style yeah pretty crazy yeah wow he's not the only wrestling yeah. figure with a nike swoosh um perfect canadian repaint landstorm that at this time he is like that canadian star in wcw with all the titles and stuff great timing um well i just love the back of the packaging seeing all these studio shots this is cool. Next up, we got RVD, who's I guess he's the the most released because he's got he got five releases hmm. in, this, in this line altogether. This I guess him and Raven one. are going to be in a band with those guitars. Yeah, they're starting up something, bro. Uh, they're a two man band. Cool RVD. I mean, not a must have, but he's got purple deco, like same as that Candido. Like, I don't know if he wore this for sure, but it's believable. I, don't, I just something. hate the black tape or wrist wrap, whatever. RVD wore black. You mean? Oh yeah. Then what's yeah. the? Is it the other one has the white? The yeah, first one. The one in the. Oh, it's uh, the red. It has red in the right, gift, yeah, yeah. gift set. Um, next up, this is my favorite Rhino. I know, same as long lines you just said. Rhino's got the red wrist tape, which is bizarre. Nobody really wears red wrist tape, <laughs> but otherwise, it's Seamus cool. does. That's true. Right here, fella. Gotcha. But uh, this is the Rhino I thought was cool. Is the one I display. Black sand. Gore. I think it's gore. 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 Good figure. Um, I saved the best for last. New Jack wearing his merch shirt, which I think makes it perfect. You know what? I think I need to get this. No new Jack. noose, the head painted the correct way, no hair, just a spot on. I think he's the underrated sleeper gem of the thrill. I think I need to get this so. to uh, swap out my new Jack. Yeah, I agree. A little bit. He's of a, got the Sunil one eight seven shirt on. <laughs> a little bit of an underwhelming series to end the series but I, obviously i don't i think it ended abruptly i don't think they absolutely meant we've seen uh, a prototype of uh roadkill on the pod before we've said who we wished was in the rest of the set we can't we can't i, I have the sabu completely different head sculpt that never came yeah, out in rage prototype war collection. air combat grudge match never came out and so yeah i don't think it meant to end the way it did but it did a little bit abruptly but nonetheless it's still my favorite line of all time definitely underrated crazy sentimental there's definitely some it's crazy like the good figures are good the bad are pretty bad but uh all of it's sentimental to me okay um and and these figures are 20 years old now which is like mind-blowing but it's you know infancy of the internet exclusives a lot of stuff doesn't exist so there's right. not many other items to just sure. kind of like pack on here um, one of the things I thought was cool was these accessory packs. So there's two versions. This is the carded version. I don't know if I've ever seen that version. Really? Is it rare? Uh, you know what? Now that you're saying that, this is less common to see them. Did this come out? When did this come out? No, I mean, it's the... Who's on the back of that? Original carding. And the so series. one and two are on the back. Yeah. On the, on series one, is series two on the back? No. Okay. Um, I guess my other question is, I don't recall ever having a ladder. Is that the only way to get a ladder? That's coming up. Huh. A little spoiler. Okay. okay. 
So there you have uh, the smaller, much less accessories. The guardrail is a little miniature. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's always the case. But so there's small. another thing. I accumulated so many that I had like an arena. Like almost, That's cool. You know no, I mean? Totally cool. So it's the single carded accessory pack. Here's the more common, I would say, deluxe accessory pack. 16 accessories included. Wheelbarrow, which I don't think came with any other figures. I don't think that table did either. You're skipping ahead here. A little bit of Easter eggs. <laughs> The table, the ladder, uh, those are the two, the three sought out after things, I guess, that are unique. What about that sledgehammer? Who'd that come with? One of the rhinos has that for sure. For sure. Um, It's a very mint box there, Brian. Dude, I'm not kidding around. I've also contemplated over the years getting guys who are in ECW to sign this. Like, just sign it like Doring and Roadkill and Mikey and just like. Randoms. Yeah. The guys that deserve it, you know. Easy money. Joey Styles, Paul Julio De Niro. You know, yeah. Um, I never went through with it, but it's something that crossed my mind. Last but not least. Who's on the back of that packaging? Oh, that's got everything. Yeah. Now, let's talk about those never came out, the Rage War, Air Combat, and Grudge match. I mean, we can, yeah. Well, oh, sure. do we want to get that now? When do you want to get to it, I then? Yes, we can. Yeah, sure. Let's get to it. Sure, yeah. Um, so what was odd is that this back of the packaging was the back of the packaging for the last three sets. So you knew um, what was to come. Like you knew these Champion Clashes, Bash the Brawlers, Thrill Zone, and then these two packs. And these were even shown at the Toy Fair that right. year. Uh, and they never did. Rage War, Lance Storm versus Sabu, Air Combat, Just Incredible versus Rob Van Dam, and Grudge Match, Raven Dreamer. And there's no such thing as a Raven Dreamer two pack, which I would, I would just be uh, all about that Looking like that's one of my favorite of box, feuds of all time it makes me realize how many ecw figures there truly are because i only have one of each guy i don't have everything so there's like 23 characters you have right but there's so many actual figures and so many wtf figures oh, also oh. we've got we've covered them all today yeah right oh my god <clears throat> all right and last but not least man this is like a crown jewel of my collection bro Ooh. Double signed Sabu Rob Van Dam with the table, with the ring, with the ladder. This is an ECW ring gift set only available at Toys R Us. Uh, I mean, truth be told, this was the WCW crappy dude ring base that, reused. That ring that San Francisco toy makers use for three different incarnations of WCW figures. To their credit, they've made the poles look a little sturdier and better, better ropes. ropes. The other um, ropes so were like girls' hair ties. Crap, yeah. I always hated that the cage was like a WWE cage and not a cage that they're not gonna, ECW didn't even really do cage matches. They're not, yeah, but at least it was gray and not red. Which is cool. I mean, they tried. So It I really always, says Toys R Us exclusive on there. I never noticed that. Yep, and it was... Uh, Retailed at nineteen ninety nine, which is crazy. You got two figures, two exclusive figures, R V D in the red, Sabu in the silver. I, I, I always hated like R V D had like the red uh wrist wraps. It did little things like that where it's like, man, this figure would be perfect if R V D's yeah, wrist tape was so black. I, the Sabu would be perfect if his tape was white. He didn't wear black tape ever, you know. So I I got this ring not like I said, I wasn't really collecting the EC. I was getting one of each figure, but I did not get this ring at the time. Uh, at least I do not recall. So I now have it, but I, I remember just selling off the RVD and the Sabu because of the reasons you just uh, named. And uh, before we're done, I'll tell you a funny little story. What, what a lot of these autographs I obtained during my indie run, because it, right. it was just kind of easy and I could kind of calculate and be like, oh, I'm doing this convention. So right. I was going to be there right. So one time... I got this, which you can also put over how mint this box is. It's pretty damn mint, yeah. <laughs> especially for the size. Yes, uh, I had this, I had this ready to go. I'm like, I'm doing this convention. I knew Sabu and RVD were there. No, they're there. They were signing, and they're signing right next to me. Oh my god! So I'm like, this is a layup. I bring them. By the way, this is a black paint pen. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. paint pens. Even back then, you knew. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. this is whatever five years now. Um, so I'm pretty pumped. I'm waiting for like a lull. I have. Head of security, Raleigh Allen there, to help me assist with course, assist with this course, one. I don't course. go, hey, I'm Kurt Hawkins, sign this for me. I'm a little chicken <laughs> I have Raleigh Allen do it. And uh, I'm kind of seeing, because it was so close, we're table to table. I have Raleigh bust it out, I guess I'm going to do it. Sabu, I don't want to say he was under the influence, or maybe he's just in a rush. I right. don't know. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. 
He signs over RVD. Oh my God. Sabu. Wait, over, over, wait, wait, hold on. Over RVD. Bro. I'm sorry, over RVD? Signs over the RVD. Sabu. He goes, oh, f up. that's not even me. Does it again. So now it says Sabu, Sabu. Okay, I think he signed over RVD's signature. No, he signed over the RVD. Okay, figure. That, okay, okay. That's okay. Riley looks at me, I look at him, we're like, jaw drop, eyes wide, like, what the f are we gonna do? Crazy enough, we're, the signing was at like, I wanna say it was a high school gym. I spin around and the custodian cart is there. And I'm like freak mode panicking. Yeah. I find paper towel and like Windex and we shoot it and the paint had to settle. It came off like nothing happened. Oh my God. Instantly, we're like, <laughs> Ooh, like this is irreplaceable. Oh, well, not irreplaceable, sure, right. but no, this right. is. What like, are the odds that you're going to have it's this? It's getting harder and harder to find. And if you're a mint in box and there were the purposes to be mint in box, forget about it. Oh, yeah. You know, sure. so I would. It's just figure fate. Every, all the stars aligned after a little hiccup there, and I have it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. And that is a uh, that's definitely a crown jewel for sure. And that is our trip down memory lane. Well, guys, this dub, was uh, this was awesome to see all these figures. Um, it's great that I have one of each. It, it, there's so many cool ones, but there's also so many bad ones. Um, like I said a few times, to this it's like it's a testament to ECW and like this little company. They did it. They did it. You know, they right. turned. They they got on tel major television. They got these action figures in stores. A Toys R Us exclusive ring. Like I'm holding my hand. You know, that's cool. Yeah, and it, and it looks great. Uh, it displays beautifully, especially with the signatures. But all in all, I think ECW is one of the most underrated toy lines it's, in history. It's underrated in that sense. But then the whole company in general is just so sentimental to me in my childhood, and then like my adolescence. Like, you know, I'm. Growing up, I'm getting more interested in girls and like you said, right. like the sex and the violence, and it's just like I grew with it. Like it was the perfect timing for me. For sure. So, wow. Well, e guys, C -W. I hope you enjoyed this E C Dub bonus episode. Uh, until next time, keep scratching that figure. Itch. I'm hardcore. I'll take them both. Hey everybody, this is Top Shelf Troy Nelson, friend of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. And have you ever asked yourself, what match should I watch? Or, what beer should I have? Well, it's time to let the Off the Hop Rope Podcast help you decide. It should be the perfect beer for the perfect match. And that's why each week we enjoy and review a specific craft beer and match it with a classic pro wrestling match from yesteryear. Sit down with myself and fellow indie wrestlers, the abominable CPA and smart Mark Sterling, as we break down the hops and the pops. Follow along on Twitter at Off the Hop Rope. Thank you. Cheers.